Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I'm Sun. I'm a color pencil portrait artist, and today I'm going to review white pencils to see how they perform on black paper. Let's get started. So today I have six white pencils, which are the Faber Castell Polychromos, Faber Castell Gold Faber, Faber Castell Alba Dura, the Caron Dice Luminance. Karen Dice Pablo and Dough and Drawing Chinese White 7200. Faber Castell Polychromos is up first. Even though I am a big fan of Polychromos, Polychromos White is not the best. The white is an opaque, so you cannot really cover the black background. Even with the few layers, it is grayer than white. But it shines through when you make sharp lines. Its hard lead allows you to get the fine details without breaking the lead. This pencil can take a hard pressure. Next, we have the Faber Castell Cold Fava. This was my first time with this pencil, and I must say how impressed I am. This wax based little pencil is the cheapest pencil out of the six and it is performed so well. It produces a crispy clean line and the coverage was not too bad either. The lead is creamy but yet hard enough to hold its point fairly well. Now we have the Faber Castell Alba Dura which is a watercolor pencil. This pencil surprised me the most with its creaminess and OP coverage. Although the lead was soft, meaning it wears off quickly, it can still hold a fair amount of pressure without breaking. I also applied some water to see how it changes, and the result was just amazing. The instant whiteness has given me so many fun ideas for future projects and uses. The Caron Dice Luminance is not too opaque when you apply light pressure, but it layers nicely. When using hard pressure, you can create a heavier layer, but the lead is soft, so it is not easy to make those sharp fine lines. And its tip breaks quite easily if you press a little too hard. As it is one of the most expensive white pencils on the market, I wasn't too impressed by how it performed. Next up is the Calendash Pablo. Wow, this pencil was just a heaven to use. Even with the light pressure, it was already so opaque and it was so soft on the paper. It shows the vivid white and I love this pencil the best so far. The lead is soft, but hard enough to make those fine lines like polychromos. Now we, we get to another good one, the Wendering Chinese White 7200. Well, this white pencil is from another world. It is so white like a snow. I could fill the circle effortlessly with only a few strokes. It almost feels like a pastel pencil. But this lovely pencil is a little too soft for my own preference. The lead breaks so easily and this tip wears off very quickly too. But wow, it is so white. So now we know the Derwen Drawing Chinese white pencil is the whitest. So I thought let's see how white it is compared to other pencils. Where I can see Polychromos Gold Faber and Luminance looks more grey than white when they are next to Derwen Chinese white. But Alba Dura and Pablo looks pretty white when they are together. I also tested how well my mono eraser works on these pencils. All I can say is they are always to erase so this is not an issue. As a general rule I found, the more transparent the pencils erase the easier than the opaque ones. Not much of a surprise there, but this eraser is fantastic. Overall here are my top 3. Let's start with my top 2 favorite. The whitest of the white pencil, the Wenchai White 7200, 
and the Karen Dash Pablo. These are fantastic pencils and you cannot go wrong with them. But if I have to pick one, it would be the Pablo pencil. This is purely a personal preference as I like the hard lead when compared to the softer versions. My third pick is the Faber Castell Abadura because of its brightness when it meets water. This really surprised me a lot and it has given me so many fun ideas. So here was my very first art supply review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel out. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you will not miss out on my next videos. Thank you so much for watching guys, and see you next time. Happy drawing!